one, two, three. While the opposite is four. One, two, three, four. According to Pythagoras theorem, it states that hypotenuse square equals adjacent square plus opposite square. So we are going to find the square of the adjacent and the opposite. By square, I mean all the signs must be equal. You know, that's the major property of a square shape. We have 3 by 3. With the 3 by 3, we now have what? 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 3 squared is 9. Good. Let's find the square of this 4. 4 by 4. Then fill it up. We found the square of the opposite. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The next thing is to find the hypotenuse. You know, the hypotenuse square is sum of opposite square and adjacent square. So what we are going to do is we are going to move all of these things. You know, we are summing up. We are adding together. So that's this. Okay. This is almost written. Now let's move everything there. got another perfect square so how many do we have in here we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 good if you look at one side each side of it is what five therefore the hypotenuse is equal to five centimeter